Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I promise I'll pay you back those two minutes. I promise. Welcome to Friday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nesty, we have something pending. I have something pending. I haven't, I didn't get a chance. I was running a little bit behind. Hello. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Dana, Roberto, Guille, Karen, <laughs> Ivan, evening, Glenda, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Beautiful day today. It is once again our Friday. Welcome to our Friday. How did it go? Did anybody get their certificate already? Anybody with certificate? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Nobody, nobody, nobody with the certificate yet. No. Oh, all right, all right. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep asking. We're gonna keep asking. Ivan, you didn't. You didn't send the WhatsApp message. You didn't want to make. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We'll wait for that one. We'll wait for that one. Hello, everybody. Hello. Week number three. Week number three. Let me see. Week number three. Day number four. We go on vacation. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we come back on Monday for our last week. So hopefully, hopefully we are able to work our way through the midterm and then through section number four. And let me see here. I think we are able to do, we can do it. Let me see. Welcome to class, everybody. Let me see who do we have. Okay, we're set. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm gonna start sharing the screen for you guys. As you guys know, we always like to bring it at the very beginning. Share, I'm gonna share everything. I, nothing to hide. All right. Here we go. And I just wanted to go over, not not go over, but I think we saw the midterm real quick. And then we went into section 4.0. For those of you who have not gone into the midterm, I wanted to just kind of go over it, not working on the answers, but just kind of going by the sections. And then, you know, kind of explaining the sections and then kind of moving forward from there. All right. So I'm at the midterm already. And the midterm is important is the midterm is important because it has a very big percentage of your overall score. Paco, Melissa, welcome. Thank you. Okay. And so we had reading is the first section that comes out on the midterm. And so you have to look at the article and then based on the article, you answer, okay? Read and then answer based on what you read. Once you have completed that, you move into section B 
Let me see. I jumped all the way. Oh, so that wasn't. Oh, that was the last one. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's actually needed to go back to the very beginning. So starts off in listening, but but it's the same thing, right? You listen to the recording, and then based on what you listen to, you answer. And you move. Rewriting the sentence. Okay. Now, with rewriting the sentence, this is the portion about passive sentences. And what they ask you to do is rewrite the sentence as a passive sentence using by. For example, Prince recorded the song Purple Rain. So you kind of have to turn it, you know, you have to you, you have to change it up a little bit. The song Purple Rain was recorded by Prince. And then so you have to change the structure completely. And it goes from an active voice to a passive voice. And that's what they ask you in terms of the exercise. George Lucas directed Star Wars movies. George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. How can we turn it into a passive? We need to switch it up a little bit, right? How do we switch it? The Star Wars movie. The Star Wars movies, movies. were uh, were directed directed by George Lucas. By George, yeah, Lucas. That's it. You gotta just turn, you have to, you know, the, the final section is the one that you're going to have to move to the beginning. And then the beginning, you have to turn it over and send it over to the last portion. So you kind of have to keep going that way. And you have to add the buy. So you're adding, adding the buy. Okay. All right, and then, so once you complete that one, you continue completing the sentences. Here, you have to turn the word speak. And then it says, complete the sentence, use the passive form of the verbs, right? So, is spoken or is spoke? English, is spoken in Australia or English is spoken in Australia and New Zealand? What do you guys think? If you guys said is, is spoken. spoken, yeah, is spoken. that's correct. Is spoken. is spoken, yes. All right, so then we move to the next one. As you guys saw that, section C is actually pretty long. Ojo con eso. Circle the word. Choose the correct word. One of the crops grown in Guatemala is, and then we choose. Coffee. Coffee. All right. Okay. And then you go like that through all the questions and then submit at the end. And that is D. You move over to E, where you have to read another article. Well, this is the one that we're talking about, where you read the article and then you answer. Then we move to, dun, 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 that's it. It sends us to section 4.0. And we begin describing feelings and gestures. Oh, we're going to talk about feelings. We're going to talk about gestures. Okay. Before we get there, who is on the midterm and would like a little bit of help with the midterm? And we can focus directly on it and then we come back to this and then we can do our exercise for conversation. Everybody, everybody okay? Everybody okay? Okay. All right, so then let's move into, let me see how many we have. Let me see. 
We're going to be off a little bit, but I think I can join one of the classes. And so let me see how we can do it. So now this is what I want us to do in today's conversation. Everything that we talked about, my name, you know, all that good stuff, name, where I'm from, where do I live, what schools did I go to, things that I like, things that I don't like, favorite foods, favorite music, all of that stuff is already incorporated into this conversation. Once again, you are meeting a person for the first time that you're going to be living with as a as a roommate maybe right it's kind of like a little roommate interview okay so now because of that i want us to talk a little bit more in depth okay i want us to have this conversation and i want us to ask about any, let me see, let me write it here. Any trips, and that could be anywhere. It could be, you know, if I if I'm from Soya Pango, if I and I've never been to, I've never been to Conchagua, right? Then I that is a trip, and you guys need to share that information. So any trips outside your, let me see here. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Any trips anywhere, <laughs> anywhere outside your house, all right? I want to talk about social media. Why social media? Why do you think we're, we're including social media to our conversation? Why do you guys think it's important? Because we, we use them every day. There we go, no. Guille. So two things, right? We, we You could, you could, Ivan, we could be using them to add each other as friends and and increase, right? our, I want to say, increase our friend circle or our cluster, como dicen, ¿va? nuestro cluster. But as Guille was mentioning, hey, everywhere you go, they ask you for your email. How many of you guys don't have an email address yet? If you don't have one, le recomiendo to get one. It is very, very recommended. It's highly recommended that you get an email address because everywhere you go, they will ask you for that, okay? So I want to discuss within social media, I want to discuss email. I want to discuss Facebook if you have it. I want to discuss Instagram if you have it. If you have Twitter, I don't even know how to spell Twitter, but you know what? I'm going to put it. What else? We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, there's a few out there. There's another one called TikTok, but that one I don't think not too many people are using it. Um, we have another one called Snapchat that I don't think, ah, Snapchat, there you go, I mean, a Snapchat, TikTok, but Snapchat and TikTok, I don't think they're really used like in a professional world, right? Uh, but Facebook, Insta oh, you know what, LinkedIn, now, if you don't have a LinkedIn, that's okay. Don't worry about it. But if you do, it would be cool if you guys would share that. Now, so here's the idea behind this. If somebody asks you for your Twitter account, how can they find you? Okay. How can they find you on Facebook? How can they find you on Instagram? And so that's the idea behind the social media. Um, your email your email is important because in most of the jobs nowadays, they ask you for your email. And I want you guys to be able to give out your email without having problems because they do look at that. Uh, remember that if you're, if you're looking for, you know, for a specific type, 
there we go, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the symbols. How do you say that symbol? So before we go into our conversation, let's talk about that, okay? Arroba en español, at. So it goes like this, equals at. For example, when you are giving out your email, let me give you guys mine. They usually ask you, what's your email address? And then you say it like this. You say Rob underscore Martinez 69 at hotmail.com. And then they tell you, can you spell that for me? And then you say, yes, of course. And that's going to be R as in Robert, O as in Oscar, B as in boy, underscore, M as in Mary, A as in Apple, R as in Robert, T as in Tom, I as in Igloo, N as in Nancy, E as in Eddie, Z as in Zebra, the number 69 at hotmail.com. You don't have to spell hotmail. Gmail. Yahoo. The domain address. RR. The domain Comcast, all of those you don't have to spell, but the first portion of it you do. Now, we have a space in the chat. You guys can see the space. If you guys don't have it, hold on. Let me let me do it like this. Let me see. And I want to apologize. I've been I've been using the chat, and I didn't ask you guys if you had access to the chat. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Let me go ahead and bring out my my PowerPoint. All right, and this this one doesn't matter. Okay, so so far, what what have we looked at? So far, we started off with just our social media, right? Email, Rob underscore Martinez 69 at hotmail.com. Okay. And then the at symbol, we have the space. Now the space it is also known as a dash. We have underscore, which is the little line at the bottom. In Spanish, I believe is, como se dice Ivan? I think you mentioned it one of you. Guion bajo. Guion bajo. I don't, I don't even know how to spell that, man. I think that's how, I think that's how you do it, but let me put it in it. Underscore. Okay. Now these are the most common. We have the comma, which is the dot. But when you're giving an email, you say dot. I'm sorry, not the comma, el punto, the dot. Okay, so the format for the emails, how does it work and how do they know? Well, most of the emails now are Gmail. If anybody is using anything other than Gmail, then that means that they're usually older users. For example, Hotmail. Hotmail has been, hasn't been used in quite a long time. Actually, you can't even create a Hotmail account anymore. Y ya no se diga un Yahoo account. Va. Hay uno más viejito todavía. Hey, there we go, Ivan Hotmail. Yeah, man. There's one that's a little bit older. At AOL. AOL.com. Have you guys ever heard of AOL? Yes. It's very, very, very 
old. And when I say old, it's only about maybe 10 years, right? But in el mundo de la social media, it is really old. Okay. So right now that we're here, is there anything else that you guys would like to talk about that you guys know in Spanish, but you have questions about it in English? Is there anything that we can help you with in regards to, it, it could either be social media, it could be, you know, like what we were talking about emails, email formats, cosas de informática. To ask about someone's username, how we will ask for it? Maybe how can I add you will make sense? That one would make sense, but what you do is you go for, you go for a little bit more. What's what's your Facebook? Okay. What what's your Instagram? Um, you can say how do you appear on Facebook? Okay. So uh, let, let's go ahead and put these right. So you can say things like how do you appear on Facebook? Okay. You can directly say what's your Instagram. Bueno, what's your Insta, dicen <laughs> los jóvenes. <laughs> what's your Insta? Same thing for Twitter. What's your Twitter? Or you can say how. How do you appear on Twitter? Uh, your email. Yes, you can say it just as long as you are implying that you're going to be looking for that person. So, for example, you would say, um, well, you would ha I think you would have to add, Carla, you would have to ask, how do you appear on Facebook? How are you, like, how do you appear on Facebook? Or how are you appearing on Facebook? You can use it like that. Because if you say, how are you on Facebook? Somebody might take that wrong and they might say, I'm doing good. I'm doing good on Facebook. Or I'm, I'm famous, maybe. Or they can say something like, yeah, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not that famous. You know, they could say things like that. So you might want to say, how do you appear? Now, guys, appearing on Facebook, appearing on Twitter, appearing on Instagram, it, it, it is, it's something that's, that's becoming very, very popular. Appearing on LinkedIn. So now LinkedIn, so let me tell you what these are for, um, if you guys. So the way they have these set up, and you guys, you guys want to, you know, don't take my word for it, but that's usually how it goes, right? Facebook is for an older crowd. Well, let me see. We're older. Let's use older people. Now, this is not me saying it to you, right? If you guys look at Facebook and what trends and what, you know, whatnot, um, it's usually an older crowd. I'm talking about anywhere between 25 and higher, right? And the majority of people, and the majority of people that are on, on, on Facebook are between the ages of 30 and above. So 30, 40, you know, 50. So that's why you're going you're gonna to get people that say, you know, Facebook is for the older crowd or older people. Glenda, you, well, come on, join Facebook. You know, we need you there. Now, in reality, <laughs> Facebook is to connect with friends. And so that's why that's why it became very, very famous, because it allows you to connect friends that probably you haven't seen in really a, a really long time, long time. OK. And so that's why you can see stories there and pictures. What is it? and some videos, not too much. It is being heavily restricted 
So anything that has nudity gets taken out. Anything that is racist gets taken out. So it's, it's very, very stricted. So I'm going to put that one as well, stricted. But I do recommend it. It is always good to have Facebook because some people will ask you for your, let me see, uh, it, it doesn't, doesn't even, strict. Let's see if it, yeah. All right, so Facebook, right? Okay, now, when you guys go into Twitter, Twitter is completamente diferente. Twitter is for a much younger crowd. Okay. This one se puede decir that is pretty much to, what can I say? Share without restriction. ¿Quieres mandar una foto chulona? <laughs> Naked, you can. If you want to send bad words, you can. It has, there's no limits. Puedes mandar de todo. Eso es Sodomi Gomorra ahí en Twitter. <laughs> but at the same time, it allows you to control a lot of the content that you can and cannot see. So for example, if you have kids that can grab your phone, there are certain stuff that you can put on Twitter to prevent the kids from looking at it, right? Uh, Twitter, I, I would say that es bien comunicativo. So chambres are a thing. They're, you know, everybody wants to. Hey, correcto, Nessie, correcto. There it is. If you, you can literally, you can put whatever the hell you guys want and it'll, you know, Twitter will accept it. Okay. Instagram. Instagram is also for the younger crowd, but it is leaning more towards business. A lot of business, a lot of selling going on on Instagram. And so what happens is that you can advertise. You can advertise your company. You can advertise your, you know, your persona. You can, it's just really good for advertising. So we're going to put that we're ad for, for ads. Videos. Pictures. It was actually at one point it was strictly pictures right because it was you know instagram but now now you can say that it's a oh okay so instagram so if i post a picture it will only stay there 24 hours and then it, it disappears in terms of publication in terms of uh, an ad okay all right so yeah so ads videos pictures however a lot of people use it as mainstream media, I want to say, right? Or, you know, they, they, social media. There's people who are on it and create content for it and they get paid for it. So there's a lot of news outlets. There is a lot of information outlets. Um, I think that Twitter also does that. And, and it, it also gives you access to a lot of, for example, news outlets. We, that are not, you know, controlled. So I, I think that they both work out. So we have Facebook. I think, yes, I think, yes, Glenda, yes. You need it. Oh my God, you can't, you can't live without it, Glenda. You need it. No, not Google Drive. <laughs> no, I, I use Google Drive. Yeah, I, I do, I do. I like Google Drive. All right, so, so far, Facebook, we have Instagram, Twitter and Snapshot is, is, is video stories. Uh, let me see. LinkedIn. LinkedIn is for businesses. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say that you are a salesman and that you're really good at sales. You can create an ad in LinkedIn and create connections. And the more connections you have, the more advertisement you're gonna get for free because it's a, it's, it works a little bit different. So uh, the minute you put an ad, everybody who has searched for a salesman will get a picture of you, 
automatically. And I think that works out really well if you're, um, you know how you were saying, Paco, that you have your own, you know, you have your your, your shuttle. Well, if you, if you create a LinkedIn profile and you say that that's what you do and you start adding people, the more people you add when you create an ad, the more hits you're going to receive. And, and let me tell you, it's, it's, I don't know how, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that it does work, Paco, because um, I, I submitted, I think I submitted a profile uh, for, for a sales, uh, for a specific sales that I, that I chose. And within the first two weeks, I had received about 17 emails from people asking if I was interested in working for them. So, it, it, you know, it, it really worked out. So uh, LinkedIn has a lot to do with professionals and it has a lot to do with businesses and it has a lot to do with finding, uh, I'm gonna say finding work opportunities. I'll try. Try it out, try it out, Paco, try it out. Okay, all right, so, so far, anything else uh, that I may have missed? What do they use in call centers? In call centers, they're gonna ask you for your email. In a call center environment, they're gonna ask you if you have uh, redes sociales. So they might ask you about, you know, como apareces en Facebook, como apareces in, in different, in, you know, in the, in the different social medias. So, but the email is the most important. now. If you are applying for a job within a call center, they require that you know all of this stuff and that you know how to spell at, for example, how to spell the dash, how to put the underscore, how to do the caps. You know, caps is having one letter that's big and then the rest that are small. And you could say lowercase or uppercase que sería uppercase, la R, bueno, la letra grande, o lowercase, que sería la letra pequeña, right? Uppercase, lowercase. They do ask you for the words per minute in typing. Uh, Le recomiendo, hay bastantes páginas a donde tú puedes practicar. And what they do is when you practice, they tell you how many words per minute you can type. And they'll tell you, you are in 30 words per minute. And, and so that's what that, that's what you guys will see. WPM words per minute. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else? You can, Carla, you can say capital letters. Um, but usually, usually people will say caps, for example, they'll say caps, or they will say they are cap sensitive. Cap sensitive. And you will hear lower case or upper case. But yes, you can say capital letters. Okay. It is, it is. And, but I want you to think about who is doing the interview. And let me tell you that it's shocking. It's shocking because if you are a little bit older, like me, you know, I, when I go into an interview, I expect somebody at least my age or a little bit older. And so it's a little bit shocking when it's like really young people, you know, when they're like 18 or 19 year old, and then, you know, they're, they're, they're using words that you have never heard before. <laughs> and so, so ojo con eso también, ojo con eso también, because sometimes you do get that shock, right? And so the younger the interviewer, the less formal the words are going to be. That's, that's usually what I've noticed so far, right? The older the interviewer, you guys are going to start seeing a lot of formality in those in, in, in the words that they use. So, buxo, buxo con eso, ojo. All right, everybody. So let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and close this down. And what I said, no, 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 don't save it. All right, so let me go ahead and break you into rooms. I think now we are set, I hope. 
No, I think we're still a little bit off, but that's okay. I, I'll jump in. Let me see. Here we go, guys. Let me stop sharing and I'm going to break you guys out into our conversation. Let me see. Oh. Ah, Glenda. Very, come on, very young. <laughs> Let me see. I think. Hmm. Let me see how it turns out. Let me see how we can do this. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what. There's gonna be one group that has three people in there. And so that person that is in the group, que está ahí de metido, uh, what I want you to do is serve as a judge. Uh, no, not, not like a judge. No, no, not like a judge. Let me see. We can say that you can be the referee. There we go. We can do that, right? And just observe and listen. So here we go, guys. Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. All right. Vámonos. Glenda, creo que necesita aceptar. Ah, really? Sí, le salió, le salió una invitación o no? No. No invitation. No. Oh my goodness, hold on. Let me see here then. Let me. How about now? No. Oh, okay, hold on. What happened? What happened here? Sala de grupo. Sí, la sala de grupo. Ay, yo no la toqué. I didn't touch. And it disappeared. It disappeared already. Yes, it disappeared. disappeared. Let me see here. I I think I think we can stay here. We can stay here, Glenda. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, there it sends you. Let me see. No, I think we're all right. No, Glenda, where did you go? Where did you go, Glenda? Oh, no. Hello, Glenda. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hola, Glenda. Yes, hello, teacher. Hi, hi. All right. So let's let's don't go anywhere. Stay right here. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Let me just give directions to everybody, and then we're gonna we can start practicing. We are gonna practice together.
You are on mute, teacher. Hi. Hey, what happened? Everybody's all over the place, huh? I don't think it worked out this time. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Guille, Guille, you're right here. It says that you didn't join Carly, Carla. Yes, I, I joined. I joined with the, with the other. I joined, yeah. but uh, her microphone didn't work. It didn't work for Carlita? Yes. And then it, now it changed. You know what? It seems uh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Let me see. It's okay. We get together with the session, but we couldn't speak because, because of that. Okay. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and see. Let's see what happened. Let me go. I'm going to tell everybody that I'm going to closing down. We're having <laughs> difficulties. Tenemos tech issues. Let's see, it takes about 60 seconds for everybody to kind of get out and start. Hey, sorry, sorry, guys. It seems like we were having a little bit of technical issues with this break room. It's really weird. It, it froze. It froze my screen, and then I couldn't control anything that was happening. So sorry about that. Should be closing pretty soon for everybody. Let's wait a little bit. Three, two, one, there we go. All right, everybody should be back. Is everybody back? Yes, right? Not yet. Not yet. No, yeah, I think I think that's it. All right, everybody, I'm sorry about that. It, 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 we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, some of the rooms froze up. Uh, my control froze. Um, I couldn't get out of it. Then I couldn't get back in. It, it just, I don't know what happened this time. It had been working pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of jump on the video and then discuss it. And I think that's going to be it for our night. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let me go ahead and share the video with you guys. And then we can begin discussing it. Discussing it. Here we go, guys. I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. All right. Well, that's pretty easy, right? Hi. Yeah. Are you ready for the following expressions? Here we go. Okay, what is the man doing? And we are going to match the expression with the picture, okay? So I want you guys to look at the different things here, at the different phrases, and then we're gonna match the phrase 
with what the man is doing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Number one, he's biting his nails. What is he Letter doing? D. Letter D. Yes. He's biting. Está mordiendo los dedos. <laughs> los, yeah, that's it. D, las uñas. All right. He's biting his nails. Yeah, we got it. So that's letter D, okay? He's rolling his eyes. The letter C. <laughs> letter C. You see his eyes are rolling back. Uh, <laughs> don't roll your eyes at me, right? People will say that. Don't roll your eyes at me. Don't roll your eyes on me. All right, there we go, okay. He's scratching his head. He's scratching his head. Do you know what I mean, scratching is in Spanish, teacher? In Spanish, isn't it rascándote? Okay, it's letter F. F? <laughs> yeah, I see that somebody tagged on it over here. All right, F, yeah, scratching is rascar. I, I, you know, how do you... Is that how you say it? Like, like if you say, me voy a rascar algo, does that, that doesn't sound weird? Is there a different way that you can say it? Scratching los piojos, teacher. Los piojos, verdad, pero, pero no, no cambia el rascar. Siempre queda así como, me estoy rascando. Es que it sounds, it sounds kind of weird. I have a friend that doesn't like to word to use the word no, he doesn't like to use the word sovaco rascando all right he said, so when people say sovaco he gets really upset and le puedo contar un chiste teacher sí claro claro que sí aquí es como twitter sí okay me gusta eso mi hermano tenía como 15 años estaba en lo mejor de que estaban alebrestadas las las hormonas Entonces le dice, le pregunta al vecino, mire, le dice, fíjese que mi novia quiere pasar a segunda base. Antes no se decía segunda base, se decía de otra forma. Y le dice el vecino, mire, mira, le dijo, vos le dice, cuando ya estés cerca de ella y los dos estén bien emocionados, tenés que buscarle donde tiene más pelos y ahí tenés que proceder, le dijo. Y como antes las mujeres no nos rasurábamos las axilas. Y resulta que mi hermano, pues ya ves, tocándole las axilas a la muchacha. El sobaco. El sobaco. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to save that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one. All right. Uh, he's tapping his foot. E letter A E. E, letter E. All right. He's twirling his hair. It's A. 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 Okay. And then the last one, he's wrinkling his nose. B, letter B. Letter B, okay. So now, you use the picture in part A and these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling, okay? So, letter A, how do you think that man is feeling using the words here? He looks nervous. Nervous, okay. Yeah, nervous. 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 Any other one that you guys can think of? Exhausted, maybe. Exhausted. Confused. 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 Okay. Embarrassed. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Now, the majority of people will say, you know, they say that it's a form. Let me see. Patient. No, I think that those are good. Yeah. Like, do you guys ever find yourself, you know, kind of twirling your hair? No, no. I even tenías el pelo largo antes cuando tenía rasta. No te jalabas la, la rasta de. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. You, right, right. Sometimes. All right. Yeah, we'll 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 accept some of those. Okay. How about B? The the nose, twirling the nose, wrinkling his nose. What do you think is happening there? What's wrinkling? Wrinkling is when you cuando moves la, when you go like this. Mm, you smell something bad, maybe. It could be. So what would that be? Like disgusted? Yeah. Oh, disgusted. Okay. Irritated. Irritated. Okay, that could be another one. Okay. All right. How about letter C? 
Disgusted. Maybe. Dis disgusted. Disgusted. Okay. Remember that letter C is rolling your eyes. It's like annoy. Okay, annoy. Yes. Frustrated. Okay. Confused. Yeah, yeah, you can use that. Yeah. How about D? What is he doing? He's biting his nails, right? We know he's biting his nails. When do you bite your nails? He's nervous. Usually when you're nervous, you bite your nails. When you're impatient. All right. Impatient. Uh, but we also have E, right? The little foot tapping. Yeah, that's impatient. That's impatient. That one fits a little bit better. Okay. And then the last one, los piojos. Ay, que me pican los piojos. He's itchy. He's itching. What do you guys think this is? Confused. Confused? Yeah, we can use it with confused. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We can do that. Yeah, we can use no, those. No, I'm going to final the English. Yeah, see. Because all se pusieron mal los muchachitos allá adentro. All right, all right, that's pretty much it, yeah. All right, good. And then I believe that if we're covering this, well, we already did. Let me see here if it, we already used these. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. All right, so we already got those. And then we start off in lesson 4.2, but I think these we're gonna leave all the way up to next week. Um, it's our Friday, and I think we have done a wonderful job all week. So lo voy a premiar con cuatro minutos. Ah, gracias, gracias. El teacher, el teacher es bondadoso. Buena gente, el teacher. Gracias. Buena gente, buena gente. Sí, yo entiendo eso. All right, so I'm going to give you guys back your four minutes. Guys, wonderful week. Please keep working the platform. Work, work, work. Ivan, remember to send me the screenshot. Everybody, have a good night. Have a good okay, night. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. night. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Night, everyone. You're welcome.